The RDO's Vehicles Research and Development Establishment will develop two prototypes of advanced armored platform vehicles in collaboration with an industry partner that is expected to produce a vehicle capable of meeting Indian Army's requirement for over 1,750 futuristic infantry combat vehicles. Private sector firms such as Tata Motors, Larson and Tubro, Mohindra and Bharat Forge are the potential contenders for the DRDO's advanced armored platform vehicles. The two technology demonstrators will have a crewless turret, that will consist of a 30mm gun, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, a 12.7mm remote controlled weapon station, and four Nagmark II ATGMs will be housed in two twin launchers. The advanced armored platform vehicle will weigh 25 tons, and will be powered by a 600 horsepower engine, with protection in the form of modular armor, along with provisions for integrating an active protection system, loitering munitions and a mini UAV. Latest images of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikrant shows MiG-29K fighter jet on board the carrier along with a wireframe unit of MiG-29K, and both the aircraft and wireframe unit will be used to study and test hangar and deck movements. The MiG-29K will soon conduct touch-and-go landing and take-off maneuvers from INS Week Grant, before the aircraft carrier is ready for formal commissioning in August 2022. The Netherlands Ministry of Defence has selected the Embraer C-390 to replace the C-130 Hercules, and the first C-390 transport aircraft will be delivered by 2026. Embraer's recent victory against the C-130J of American Lockheed Martin has further emboldened Indian policymakers to consider the C-390, that can also perform air-to-air -air refuelling. Embraer is open to integrate Indian-made systems on the C-390 not only for India but other countries as well. The CEO of MKU Limited's Optronics division has said, that after listening to the problems of the modern soldier, the company has developed a sophisticated sighting solution for grenade launchers and heavy and light machine guns and rifles. The Nitro TW4100 is a rugged and lightweight thermal sight, that offers high-quality optics for long ranges. India's Garuda Aerospace has announced that it has teamed up with Malaysia-based Hills Drones, to establish a 2.4-hectare drone factory in Malaysia. Garuda Aerospace will invest 115 crore rupees into the partnership, and will be aiming to provide drone technologies to both government and private sectors across the region. Boeing has awarded the Indian firm Tata Aerospace and Defence as the supplier of the year. The Tata Boeing Aerospace Limited facility has been producing aero structures for Boeing's Apache helicopter, and will also manufacture the Boeing 737 fan cowl from its Hyderabad facility. The Indian Navy has released a request for information to procure four units of 300-ton sulage barges from registered Indian shipyards with more than 50% indigenous content. The anticipated delivery time aligns for the first barge's maximum of 18 months, followed by delivery of each barge in every three months. Two Indian naval ships INS Sehadri and INS Kadmat have made a port call at Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh City Port and this visit is special as it coincides with celebrations marking 50 years of diplomatic relations between India and Vietnam. The management of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is trying to draw up support for the development of an indigenous medium transport aircraft program, by having talks with many public and private sector companies that could be part of the supply chain. HAL is proposing the development of medium transporter that can carry 20-ton payload, and can also be used for troop movement.